You don't know? It just, it just didn't work. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry, bro. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, we should have a bunch of money now. Yeah, 130. Okay, perfect. Ultra Balls. How much can we buy? Yeah, I guess let's just buy 200 Ultra Balls for 100 grand. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Just dropping 100 grand. Why not? Okay, because so we can't buy berries, right? No, we need to somehow farm berries. I still don't know how to farm berries, but... Yeah, the DS emulators aren't great uh, to use. I know that they work and such, but... I'm sorry you couldn't get the 3DS emulator working, Trekkie. That's annoying. Because I'm... I know I've got the regular DS emulator working before, too. I don't remember what software I was using for that. But... Too slow to stream. Interesting. Okay. So it could be a performance issue. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Oh, actually, if we talk to this guy in here who teaches my Pikachu special moves, is he gonna have any different moves now that we're the champion? Hey, you, do you want me to teach your... Yes. No, you only teach Zippy Zap. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. The DS emulator is too slow. Huh. Well, dang, man. That's really unfortunate. Okay, so let's go ahead and move Trekkie to the front. Get out of Pokeball. And yeah, let's go ahead and give... Pecky, turn to Pokeball. Okay. Let's go try to find us a Mewtwo, y'all. Cerulean Cave. And we have a Vidito. So I think I am just going to catch everything we try to see in here. Just for experience. There we go. We had 300 Ultra Balls. Let's use them. Honestly, it might be worth just going through all of our Pokeballs and Great Balls first, just to kind of get rid of them. Or I guess we could save the Pokeballs and Great Balls later, right? Like, if we need to catch, like, lower-level Pokemon? Yeah, I mean, that'd be decent. Yeah. Ooh, let's use Gyarados. Since we're, like, on water. Take out a Pokeball. Yeah, there it is. One, three. Wait, no, a Kappa. Okay, I saw that Kappa in the end. I was like, no, they can't. Although, phones are getting very powerful. Like, they can easily emulate, uh... Ooh, 10 Ultra Balls? Snap! They can easily em emulate, uh... Nintendo 64 games, which I think is really cool. Like, you can get, like, Ocarina of Time stuff, emulator, like, on your phone, like, for N64, and that's really cool. Premier Balls? Yeah, we do get Premier Balls from when, every time we buy 10 Pokeballs at a time, so that's pretty good. And Game Boy games? Yeah, phones are great for Game Boy games. They really are. Have y'all ever seen that phone case that goes over, it goes like your phone goes into it and it makes like a Game Boy type thing with like the A and B button so that you don't have to mess with on-screen controls? Have you seen that before? It's really cool. Its tongue spans almost seven feet and moves more freely than its forelegs. It can lick and cause paralysis. I always felt like Lee Tongue was really odd Pokemon and I never felt like it was really part of the 151. Like it was, it was very weird. Can they handle PS2? Honestly, the later phones, I bet they could. Like if you got a Samsung S10. Yeah. Because I have an S8. I have an S8. And 
It's pretty powerful, dude. So... So I guess my PS2... I don't know, PS2s are a bit more powerful than, than N64s. Like, graphically. They really are. I don't know. You could probably look it up. Oh, S9 Plus should cut it. Yeah, I agree with that. Oh, look at the tiny lick Oh, it's not tiny anymore. Oh, that was, that was kind of sad. I thought it was like just forever going to be tiny. A golden nab berry. Nice. Okay. Rhyhorn. So is it all of these glowing spots are rare spawns? I was talking to a golden raspberry. Yeah. So I was talking to uh, Cool Trainer Camillo on Twitter. And he told me about... He did a screenshot of him finding a master ball in this room. You can just find master balls. Apparently, they're super rare spawns. But you can just totally... Oh, what the uh, game? You can just totally just find master balls. And that blew my mind. So I want to find them now. Wait, are they really, Levi? That's legit. Yeah. I mean, at that point, if it does get to that part, you can easily just grab a Bluetooth controller. Bluetooth, yeah, Bluetooth controller, sync it to your phone, and then just play 360 games. Play Halo on your phone. That'd be pretty cool. So, that'd be pretty awesome. That really would. You know what would also be awesome? If this ride on would get in the ball. There we go. But... So just to let y'all know, kind of my thought process. I've been thinking a lot about the stream and like long term for the stream. And I don't think I want speedrunning to be a, a large focus of the stream. I don't think I enjoy it enough and I don't think I'm competitive enough for me to sustain that long term. Right on. Ooh, 1100 experience points. Very nice. 22. Amnesia? Interesting. I think amnesia increases a whole bunch of stats but lowers speed. The ground rock drill Pokemon. Very nice. Yeah, so give me a heads up. Honestly, I think speed ring is going to be one of those things that kind of comes and goes for me. Um, like if I'm if I'm really into something at the time, I th I think I'll spend a good amount of time like streaming it and playing. But I don't think it's something like I don't think I'm gonna focus on one speed game for like a very long time. If that makes sense, does that make sense, y'all? Yeah, yeah, Levi. I think mental health wise, basically, like for me, and just like overall enjoyment, I think variety is a better option. Um, something I thought about doing, which I don't, we may still do eventually, I don't know, would be to like one day a week do speed running. Right? Like every Tuesday. Every Tuesday speedrun day. And it's like whatever game we're whatever speed game we're doing at that time, we'll just do that game on Tuesdays. And then the other two days, Wednesday, Thursday, or Wednesdays would be something. Thursdays would be whatever our variety game is. So Tuesdays would be speedrun days. Wednesdays would be like flex day in between speedrunning and story based games depending on which I'm like really want to pursue more at the moment and then Thursdays would be our story based variety game or not even story based whatever the variety game is that we're pursuing at the time so that's something I've thought about doing this isn't an official announcement yet or anything it's just, just me just balancing ideas off y'all it's really what it is Leva likes the plan alright yeah, so that's... 
it's an idea I had. Idea that I was I was kicking around. Oh. I thought it was gonna jump, so I hesitated. And then it attacks. That wasn't fast enough. Yeah. Come on, get the ball. But yeah, it was just yeah, an idea I was kicking around because for those who follow me on Twitter, you may notice I like and retweet a lot of Breath of the Wild speed running tricks and tech and things like that. And I've been thinking about getting into Breath of the Wild speed running because the tricks in that game looks so cool and looks like so much fun like it it looks really really cool if you haven't checked out um breath of the wild speedruns you definitely should uh someone who is ridiculous at it really is someone a uh, content creator named zant z-a-n-t check him out on twitter i don't know what his actual twitter handle is um but he's a streamer um i think he's currently routing all shrines category he's routing an all shines category right now i believe he might be getting to the end of it but so uh, that's pretty cool it's a very complicated run the advanced strats yes but I believe that there is a beginner route to the game that you could learn that's not as bad. But I believe like the advanced strategies that they that they use, yeah. Um, some of the setups and the tricks that they use for the launches to get them from one side of the map to the other side of the map, it's, yeah, some of them get pretty hairy to say the least. So, it, it would be a, a long-term thing. Kind of like, kind of set a goal for myself in terms of like time, I guess, and then go from there. How long is the run? So depending on the category, right? So if you're talking about any percent, I think it's like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna misspeak. I'm gonna look it up. I, I don't want to misspeak. Um, okay, so... Current world record for any percent, no ami amiibo, normal mode, no DLC... On the Wii U... Is 29 minutes, 16 seconds. 29 minutes, 16 seconds is the any percent world record. So, it looks like the fastest runners can do it in, like, 30 minutes. Um, looks like... There's a bunch of runs on here, but most of the runs that are submitted are between... Looks like some people can do it in, like, an hour and a half to 30 minutes is kind of the range on here for any percent. So... That's any percent, but there's one, there's one category that's about starting with called the Great Plateau. Any percent, right? If you're familiar with Breath of the Wild, let me get off the screen. Uh, it's long, slim limbs and broad flippers. They are used for swimming gracefully in lakes. Awesome. Sorry, this endless loop in my ear of that background was driving me crazy. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty quick because they their their tricks are pretty massive. For their launches and how they just like get thrown across like the world um so any percent would be starting from the beginning right in the shrine of resurrection if you've played breath of the wild to defeating ganon that's not spoilery ganon's the main antagonist of every pretty much every zelda game in some fashion um so that's 30 minutes is that world record there's another category for beginners to learn the game, and that's called Great Plateau Any Percent. 
And the goal of that is to collect... It begins at the beginning of the uh, Shrine of Resurrection and ends when you get the Paraglider. So, in case other people haven't played Breath of the Wild, I'm not going to say anything, but so when you beat and you... The first really big hurdle in the game is getting off the Root Plateau. To do that, you need a Paraglider, which you find out about in the first, like, five minutes of the game. Once you have that item, that's the end of that category. And there's a really cool, like, beginner guide and kind of stuff to teach you the basics of speedrunning Breath of the Wild. So that's what I would want to get into first, and then once I got that down decently and learned some of the basic tricks, I would try to learn the any percent route. Um, I don't think I would be wanting to do... Anything too long of a category. Yeah, that category, the Great Plot 2, any percent category, is very quick. Um, world record for that is 15 minutes. Okay, technically it's 14 minutes, 53 seconds. 14 minutes, 53 seconds is the world record for that category. So. But some of the categories are, like, really long. Like, there's uh, All Shrines, which is being rerouted right now by Zant. Um, that one's currently at 8 hours, 33 minutes. Okay, 8 hours, 33 minutes is All Shrines. But again, that's going through a massive reroute, so I think that's going to be huge. Uh, there's an All Main Quests category that's about 3 hours long. All Dungeons is about 2 hours long. So, but I would just want to do like the any percent stuff. That's what I, that's what I would be interested in doing. So I think I may want to try to get, I don't know, satisfied with whatever I want to do with Mario Odyssey and then move on. So I'm already kind of getting a little bit tired of Odyssey, um, to be completely honest. So, yeah. Hey, H. How you doing, man? Are you been playing Breath of the Wild? How ironic. We were actually just talking about Breath of the Wild there for a bit. How is your uh, playthrough on Breath of the Wild going, A. H. Yeah, ironing at his finest. Any percent would be the most popular? I could see that. I could see that. But... Oh, grab one. Yeah, so I was thinking about doing that. I don't really know what my goal should be in Odyssey. So I'm at, a one, I'm at 1 hour 24 minutes, right, in Mario Odyssey. My original goal, which was very competitive, and it would take a ton of practice and time and dedication, and I don't think I have that in me, I wouldn't enjoy it. So I don't want to do that anymore, but my original goal was get to top 100 on the leaderboard for SMO any percent. That was my original goal. I feel like that goal is way too lofty for me, and I don't think I would enjoy the grind of getting there, to be honest. Because to do that, I would have to get a time of about one hour, six minutes, six, six minutes ish. So that says a lot. I would have to shave like 18 minutes off of my current time. So another goal would just be get below 120, shave off four more minutes. So, I don't know. I don't know what, what... Or should I be satisfied with the 124? I don't know. And honestly, that's not... That's why I'm not playing Mario Odyssey today. It's because I don't know what my goal is in that game right now. I don't know where I want to go with that speedrun. If I want to keep putting time and effort and... I didn't do it. So, I don't know. 
What do y'all think? You're getting distracted every two seconds, CH? Ha, <laughs> no worries, bro. Breath of, the, Breath of the Wild is one of those games that's just massive and there's so much to do that you can just get easily distracted all day. But I think once we finish our playthrough of Pokemon Let's Go, which because there's so much more content with all the Pokemon Masters, it might be a while. We're going to do some uh, Marvel Spider-Man. So that'll be exciting. There we go. Another thousand experience points. Max Elixir, very nice. Oh, there he is. There he is, y'all. We have found Mewtwo. And there we go. You're all ready for the strongest Pokemon in all the lands. He looks so good in this game. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, actually, is Mewtwo shiny locked in this game? Pokemon are shiny locked. So what which, which shiny locked means is Pokemon that cannot be shiny. Like there's zero, zero chance for them to be shiny. No, it looks like there's no shiny locks on legendary Pokemon. So, does that mean we could get a shiny Mewtwo? Mm, yes! Yeah, we could. I think so. Oh, snap. Okay. Okay. You don't know, but you know you can get one? Okay. So, I think what we're gonna do is... So I... This. We're going to close the game and reopen it. Because if we have a chance of getting a shiny Mewtwo, I kind of want to take it. But that would require a lot of like soft resetting and stuff, soft resetting, right? Um, we would need to. There's a shiny charm. How do we get the shiny charm? Usually, you have to complete your Pokedex. Apparently, using a lure also boosts our shiny spawn chance. Interesting. So, does a lure affect the shiny chance of a legendary Pokemon? I guess that's the question. Hmm. Because obviously we can't get the shiny charm until we complete the Pokedex. We can't complete the Pokedex without capturing the legendary Pokemon. 
So right now we could start soft resetting, but that's a 1 in 4,000 chance of getting him as a shiny right now. 1 in 4k. That's, uh... That's not great. That's not great odds. That's, that's, that's mm, not great odds. Huh. I thought about doing shiny hunting of one of the legendary birds, like uh, 